Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm going to go through in this video um, <clears throat> the first question of the January 2021 Statistics S1 paper, and this is from Edexcel, the International A Level. And this um, paper I will go through question by question. I will uh, make a separate video for each question and I'll collect them together in one playlist. In the playlist you will find a um, link in the description to the playlist. You'll find a link to the paper itself, the PDF version, and the playlist will be available by a link on the top of the page later on up here and also in the description box below. So I'm going to start with question number one. Question number one says the Venn diagram shows events A, B and C and their associated probabilities. We don't know what they're about, we just know their probabilities here. Okay, so we got to find the following in this set notation. We've got to find the probability of B complement, the probability of A union C, and the probability of A given B complement. So it starts off with a very simple, short question. So I've got the uh, diagram here where it's visible, and I'm just going to write the answers next to these three spaces because it's, it's a very uh, quick question, actually, to be honest. So the probability of B complement basically is a probability of everything occurring which is outside of the circle of B. So we have to add together these probabilities, which is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.13, that's 0 0.28, so it's 0 0.15 plus 0 0.13, 0 0.28 plus 0 0.12. Okay, so that's going to be 0 0.4. If you add them together, you're going to get... 0.28 plus 0.12 gives you 0 0.40, which is 0 0.4. Then it says find the probability of A union C. A union C means whatever's in A and also whatever's in C added together. A union C. So we are going to exclude these two. So we could do it in two ways. We could find what these two are together, which is 0 0.3, and then take that away from 1. So you can have 1 minus 0 0.17 plus 0 0.13 is 1 minus what we don't want will give us what we want. That's going to give me uh, 1 minus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.7. So that's the answer for the second part. We could have also done this by saying, okay, the probability of A union C is this plus this plus this plus that. So that's going to be 0 0.23 plus 0 0.12, which is going to be 0 0.4. Um, sorry, 0 0.35, what we're talking about. 0 0.35, so that was 0 0.35 plus, and you're going to have also 0 0.35, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.15 is 0 0.35. If you add them together, you get 0 0.7. Okay, so that, that's another way of doing it as well. It's fine. Either way is fine. Then it says the probability of A slash B complement. Now, this slash thing means given. What it means is the probability of A given B complement. That means the probability, where we're only looking now at the things that are outside of B, nothing else. Only looking at the things that are outside of B. So basically what we're doing is we're finding the probability. Our, our, our sample set is just B complement. Whatever comes next at the set after the slash is that's our sample set. So I'm only looking at the things that are outside of B. So I'm just going to highlight the things which are outside of B. The things which are outside of B are 0 0.15, 0 0.12 and 0 0.13. I can only look at those three sections there because those are the sections that are outside of B. That's our sample spe space. And now what I've got to find is the intersection of A and B complement. Okay, because I can only choose the parts of A that are inside B complement. Now, that's only this part here. I'll just circle it. That's the only part of A that is outside of B. So the probability of A intersection B complement is a probability one, 0 0.15 over the probability of everything outside of B, which is going to be what we found there, which is 0 0.4. Okay, so that's 0 0.15 over 0 0.4, okay, which um, you can say is going to be, let's take that on the calculator, 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.4. gives you 3 over 8. That's 3 over 8. 
that is the probability of A given B. So we limit our sample space just to those things which are outside of B, and then we look to see what is the intersection between what's outside of B and A, well, it's just 0 0.15. Okay, so there's the answer to part C, and that's a nice, simple way of finishing off the first question. The first question is quite simple, um, quite a short question, and there we have it. Um, other questions from this paper you'll find in the playlist on the top of the screen around here. Other questions from uh, this topic of probability and Venn diagrams you'll find in this um, playlist over here, and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And on the top of the page, we'll have a link taking you to another past paper for S1. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and understood, and see you soon.